Good morning, Asai. Oh, good morning. Did you cut your hair? Oh, you noticed. I kind of screwed it up, though. There is no one at my school that doesn't know about Asahi Shinonomi. She's pretty, smart, and athletic. She's probably the most popular girl at the school. She does have some weaknesses, though. Ugh, this is so annoying. Some random upperclassman asked to talk to me, and then asked me out. And it was a guy that one of my friends liked. So I was so exhausted after trying to deal with that. Wow, I guess being attractive has its own set of problems. From where I stand, I couldn't see her as an attractive person at all. She's exactly what you called two-faced. On the surface, she's a straight-A student, but on the inside, she shows me her true side. I've been her neighbor for over a decade now, so we've known each other forever. We go back to when we were very young, and we ended up in the same high school. So, what did your friend say? She said it can't be helped because you're cute. I mean, you do look cute. Excuse me? Are you trying to say something? Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> what is that reaction? Ugh, anyway, you don't care about what I said to him? I'm sure you said no to him. I mean, yeah, but you should care more. As you can tell, she's always at the center of attention, but she's never said yes to anyone. There's a reason for that, but... You'd be upset if I made a boyfriend, right? Why? Because you don't have a girlfriend and I would have found someone before you? You don't have to think about me. Go ahead. <laughs> what? Are you sure I'm going to date someone then? Oh, you have someone in mind? <laughs> what about you? You don't have anyone you want to date? Oh, me? I mean, not right now. Then you should be in a rush. I'm attractive, so it's okay, but you realize that you won't have a girlfriend for the entirety of your school life, right? I'm okay with making a girlfriend once I start working. That's too late. You should understand how women work while you're a student. Learn something. You don't have to tell me. I know. You don't know. You're going to be single for the rest of your life. And she won't talk to me since. Am I in trouble? I see. What do you think, Miss Utako? Let's just go to the hospital for now. What? Am I seriously that twisted in the head? I think it's pretty bad how slow you are. It's probably pretty bad considering I'm asking the mother of the person I'm asking about for help. Her name is Utako, Asahi's mother. She's a single mother, but she looks so young that you'd mistake her for Asahi's sister. My family is a single father household, so we all hang out from time to time. Sometimes I have some tea with her like this. I mean, to put it bluntly, Asai likes you. What? I don't think so. Why do you think that? Because I think she talks to me out of necessity. Sometimes she doesn't even like talking to me. Like last time. Uh, here. What is this? It's a birthday present. But don't take it the wrong way. My mom said I have to give you a present because we go back. I see. Thanks. So she gave me a present out of obligation. Did she really not like that? She seemed like she was holding back a lot of emotions. She was red and didn't even look at me. Um, yes. I need an ambulance. Yes, I'm at... Who are you calling? I'm afraid your condition is worse than I thought. Should I just call the police? Why? Because at this point, it's a crime. I'm just joking. But I really am having a hard time finding the silver lining in all of this. But it is also partly her fault. Why can you two not just get along? I'm getting sighed at now. Great. Maybe it's my fault. Is it because I raised these two practically as siblings? It's going to be too late for him if this continues. Ugh, if a sigh was just more honest. Ah, I've got it! What's wrong? You only see her as your childhood friend, right? Yeah, I think she's cute, but... Then let's just level you up first. What kind of XP are you talking about? Yeah, if you get XP with girls, you'll understand women better, and everyone won't be able to keep their hands off you. Okay, sure, but how do I get XP? You find a friend who has experience in dating. You'll even learn a thing or two about dating. Then a sigh will watch you, and she'll have to make a move. But I don't know anyone other than Asahi that I can talk to that's a woman. 
Wait. Yeah, exactly. I can't do that to my teacher. She's engaged. Uh, me, Izumi. Me. Please stop not noticing me as a woman. And that's how Miss Utako became my teammate. So, do you know about Sundare? Of course, it's a dragon, right? Or something like a dragon? An imaginary creature? Um, they exist. Like my Asai. Then, that night... Hey! What's going on? Why are you dating my mom? Oh, you heard? Why did she tell Asahi? Yeah, you said that I'd be single for the rest of my life, so... But... Why my mom? I asked her about it and it just kind of made sense. She said she'd help me practice for dates. Are you jealous of her? <sighs> no way! Ah, so this is a tsundere. I thought it was an imaginary creature when it lived right next door to me this whole time. I will never call you dad. Um, you're misunderstanding. We're just practice dating. I don't care. Why didn't you ask me for help? I want to know too, to be honest. But a promise is a promise. So, the day of the date with Miss Utiko. Sorry to keep you waiting, Izumi. Oh, don't worry about it. You look more dressed up than usual. Well, yeah. Even though it's practice, a date is a date. You can't call me Miss Ukuto. What should I call you? You could just call me Ukuto without the miss. Okay, Utako? It's been so long since a man said my name. Huh? Are you okay? Say it ten more times. Utako, 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 Utako. What has gotten into me? I'm on a date for the first time in a while, and with my daughter's childhood friend to boot. Don't remember what it was like to be a woman. This is just practice for a sigh. <clears throat> Sorry. You can call me Masukato as usual. So, are you going to take me somewhere? Um, anywhere you want to go. <clears throat> Wrong. Huh? You should think of a date plan for the girl. So, how about the movies? If it's your first date, and you two aren't good at talking to each other. It's a great idea, but you and Asai talk often, right? So... The shopping mall. Perfect. There's no shortage of things to do here. I always come here on the way home from school with Asahi. They're definitely related. Oh, I want to go there. Okay, sure. Let's go. Hey, how about this swimsuit? Huh? I don't know. That's a little... revealing. Yeah, you think so? Too much? No, that's not what I mean. Actually, I just don't like other guys staring at the person I'm dating. Maybe it's just my ego as a boyfriend, but I want to be the only one that gets to see her. Okay, then I'll only wear it in front of you. And what kind of situation would that be? You know, the bath in the house. What kind of situation is that? As we finished shopping, we decided to go to the cafe to rest. Here you go. Ah. Uh... What am I doing with my childhood friend's mother? Say ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Mmm, it's so good. That's good. She's cute. All right, one more time. Again? Practice. It's practice so that you don't accidentally hit someone in the nose. We eventually finished up our date. Oh, today was so fun. That's good to know. This is a good place. Yeah. All right. Let's practice hugging. That's a little too much. Practice. It's just practice. Imagine hugging the person next to your girlfriend on accident. I don't see that actually happening. You just don't want to hug me. You only see me as some old lady. No, you're incredibly attractive. Just, I wasn't sure if it was okay. I feel a little bad for Asahi. Oh my gosh, I did it again. I became a woman. I understand. You finally told me how you feel about Asai. You understand, right? That's that, though. What? It's just a thank you hug. What is this, America? Then we heard something in the bushes behind us. Hold that thought! Whoa! Asahi! What are you two doing in a quiet park? What are you doing, Asai? I was just... 
nearby, so... You're lying. You've been following us from the start. Huh? Then what about that last hugging thing? Oh, that was to drag her out of the bushes. Poo! I was about to hug Utako. Okay, Asai. You have something to say to Izumi? N no Then why were you following us around all day today? Nothing! Asai, enough. I didn't raise you to be a Sundare. Sundare? What? I'm sure she doesn't know she's a Sundare either. You realize someone is going to take Izumi, right? After going on a date with him, I can tell that he's a great person and he's a great listener. Probably because he's been dealing with Asai every day. I think that he's a great fit for me. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not nice. Then just say it. Oh, I've always liked you. Ever since we were young. But since we were childhood friends, I felt scared that you would turn me down. I... I see. I'm sorry for teasing you about your dating life. I just wanted you to pay attention to me, so I kept teasing you. I'm sorry I didn't notice how you felt either. I swear I'll be cuter. Will you go out with me? If you're okay with someone who's this slow... She was so cute after she was honest, I was speechless. I guess this is the Dede part of Sundere. Huh? Where's Utako? Huh? Where is she? So that happened, and my chest has just been tight ever since. What should I do, Doctor? Um, it's because you lost your love. There's nothing I can do. Find someone new? That's how Asahi and I started dating. The first day of our date? I'm so glad it was sunny today. Right? It really is a great day, isn't it? Mom! Why are you following us? Why are you on his arm? Oh, it's pretty normal. He's my future son-in-law. That's going a little too fast, don't you think? I was actually waiting for someone today. Oh, really? With who? Well, oh, here he comes. D dad Izumi's father? Mom, explain! Yeah, what the hell, Dad? I mean, you know... We're dating! So I'm your future son? No way! <laughs> We're a family! Izumi, you take great care of Asahi! Uh, I never thought it would have happened, but they wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe they'll beat us to it, huh? We can't lose to them! We need to go file for marriage! Now! We're juniors in high school! Why are you so competitive? And that's how the second chapter of our dating was about to start. <laughs>